Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this video and I'm gonna be talking today. Definitely relating to locks or hair in general because that's what this page is about. That's what this YouTube page is about. Not only is this page about hair, whether it's braids or locks or whatever it is, definitely catering to the natural hair community. If your life is miserable and you take joy and pride out of spreading and inserting your negativity in positive environments, this channel is not for you. Over here, we talk about the beauty of hair and locks and growing your locks and the process of locks or how hair is done or how you do this to the hair. That's what we do over here. There's no room or space for disrespectful comments. I don't disrespect anyone's views on what they do to their locks. If they want to add extensions in their locks or if they want to sit under a dryer or use a blow dryer in their hair, that has nothing to do with me, which is why in my videos, I'm neutral with all of that. I say what I do, but I also tell you guys to do whatever you want. That's your hair. That has nothing to do with me. Turn that dryer up, maximize the heat on that dryer and sit under it. That has nothing to do with my hair that doesn't get any heat. Obviously my hair gets heat in the summertime, but we're not getting that technical with it, okay? We're just talking about blow dryers, like added manual heat to your hair. Also, thank you to my 174 subscribers. I do appreciate you guys supporting my channel. The disrespectful comments are not coming from my subscribers. They are coming from elsewhere. And it's it's at the point now where it's I, I have to address some of the things. So no, this video will not be me just going off on anyone or anything like that. That's not what this video is about. I am going to address certain things that I've had in my comments that I had to delete because I don't let negativity stay on my channel. I actually have two channels and even in my other channel, it's all positivity where I help people to find, to get career positions. I will also link that in the description so you can check my other channel out and see if you see anything on there that could benefit you. Okay, so now let me dive into the purpose of this video and let's start off with the number one thing that I don't do to my locks, okay? And that is heat, pretty simple. I don't use heat in my hair because I don't need it. I don't need it because my hair dries very quickly. My hair was always like that even before I had locks. And now that I've had locks, it's still the same. I don't need, by the time I wash my hair and I barely put something over it to dry the water, as soon as I start retwisting my hair, my hair is drying. I have to spray water back into my hair. You see what I'm saying? I don't need that. I don't know how that's going to work with the length of my locks as time goes by but I don't need it, so I don't use it. My daughter has really thick hair. Her hair texture is the very opposite of my hair. She also doesn't need the heat. There's no reason for me to put heat in her hair. Like her hair does the same thing that mine does. It gets dried as I'm retwisting it on its own. My mother has locks. She started her locks about, she's going on four months now or going on five months, I believe. And she doesn't use locks. Of all three of us, her hair is the most fine. Okay, her, her texture is, is very fine and soft. And she has thin hair as well. So absolutely not. If my daughter doesn't need the heat, I'm not going to put heat on my mom's hair. And I do maintain everyone's hair, including mine. I also do other people's locks. And I've never applied heat to their hair. Not one time. So... If you put heat in your hair, in your locks, that's what you do. You see what I'm saying? But then some people will see this and then tell you, oh, you shouldn't put heat in your hair. That's not healthy. Heat damages your hair and this and that. We don't need you on our pages telling us what to do with our hair. Now, you can leave a comment saying, hey, you could try a different type of of blow dryer where you put like a plastic over your hair. I'm just making something up, but I'm just saying, come with something uplifting. We don't want, we don't, we don't care for you to say, don't use heat in your hair. If you feel like that's wrong, you shouldn't do that. You're damaging your, your locks. It's going to be, your hair is going to be damaged uh, or, or, or destroyed in, in, in a few more months. 
We don't need your negativity. You can even say, hey, I have locks, had locks, know someone else that has them, and they were using heat in their hair, and over time, it became damaged, um, you know. But uh, something like that is even acceptable. It's the same thing that I'm saying, right, but in a different way, right? You're approaching it in a different way because I don't know if some people don't know these things or they're just miserable, bitter, and sad. So you have to come and you have to throw stuff like that at people. Why would you tell someone their hair is going to be damaged or, or destroyed within this? That has nothing to do with you. If the person want to do what they want to do to their hair, that's just what it is. Now, here's the thing. If you don't like their content, just don't go back to their page. It's that simple. Just have nothing to do with the page if you don't like what they're producing. It's just that simple. Let's move on to the second thing. Hair products slash locks products. Believe it or not, people find negativity even to insert when it has to do with the products. Can you believe that? The products that you spend your money and buy, people will have negativity to throw at you for that. I took it upon myself to take a picture of every product that I have used and still using on my hair since my hair has been locked. And I want you to take a pretty good look at each and every one of these products that are on your screen right now. Based on a comment that I received, if you use any of these products, you're cheap. So they're saying that I'm cheap and you're cheap as well because I'm getting billed up because I'm using cheap products. <laughs> but let's talk about it. But let's focus on the retwisting product that I use since that is like the main thing that you will use in your locks journey. I prefer to use a gel-based product over a greasy product for my retwist because common sense, grease is gonna attract more lint, it's gonna attract more things to your hair. And also it's going to leave that greasy feeling in your hair Therefore, I'm able to lay on my pillows without my hair being in a scarf and not have any residues on my pillow cases. Now, when I wash my hair, I go in with a clarifying shampoo, which is also another issue that someone had. They left in the comments saying, clarifying shampoo is going to destroy your hair. <laughs> But when I use a clarifying shampoo to wash my hair, I go in on the moisture. So obviously if I just went, wash my hair and went in on the moisture, I am not going to lay on my pillow like that. My hair is going to dry. I'm going to sleep in a scarf for a couple days and then I'm going to go to sleep regular. However, I am aware that scars will make your retwist last longer. It protects edges. It, it does all kinds of different things for your hair, which is cool. Even to hold your moisture in for you as well. But the beauty of being able to do your own hair, I don't have to live by that rule. Because it's nothing for me to do a retwist on my hair. And not just any retwist, but one that's very professional. So for me, I don't, I don't live and sleep in a scarf all day 24-7. I will do it for a couple of days and after that, it, it is what it is. I've never had super full thick edges to begin with because that's not my hair texture. But I do have edges, but they've not like super thick like how some people are. And I've had, I've been going through my locks journey for 13 months today. 13 months on my locks journey. That is unreal to me and my edges have if anything they have gotten thicker since I started my locks journey so now let's go back to the product that I use for my retwist which I love by the way the state that I live in is $12.99 and bear in mind I'm still responding to the cheap comment it's $12.99 in the state that I live in in 2023. Today is November 11th, 2023, and that's the cost of that product. So when you're telling someone that they're, you're, the product you're using is cheap, 
<laughs> That's cheap. That's cheap. That's why you have buildups. Then went even further to say, I have locks and I've never had any buildup ever. If you are bringing that to someone's page, that's also on their locks journey. If you're going to say their products that they're using is trash, why don't you drop the name of that product that you use that doesn't give you any type of buildup whatsoever? So now that tells me that you did not come to my page, my channel to inspire or to support, right? Cause you can support in different ways. You can also leave stuff in the comments that a person might not have known. You could drop knowledge. You instead came to throw negativity, but not drop the positivity to, to balance that out. Now check this out. I had another person that left a comment and said that they've had locks since 1994. And they've been using this product and their hair doesn't have any buildup as well. And he dropped, I think it's a he, I don't know. Forgive me if you're watching this video and I'm saying he when you're, when you're she, I'm not sure I didn't, I didn't search through to see, but nonetheless, the product was dropped. So that's a person that is coming to support and to inspire. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about with the negativity. And then even with a cheap comment, we all know that the things that are most expensive are not always the best quality. And the things that are cheap are not always the lowest quality. Okay. That's another thing. If that's the case, and I can even take it as further to say, you're speaking on someone's product that they're using their hair and you're saying that's cheap. So I'm going to need everything in your life to be the top, the most expensive from your toothbrush, the floss you use the shoes you wear, your car, your house, your clothing, like all your shoes need to be over $1,500. You see what I'm saying? Like I could take that really far to say that, but we're not going to do that. Cause I know my subscribers, uh, I'm not, I'm not here to, to do that. I know y'all don't want to see me do all of that. Right. And I know you guys haven't seen me in this element, but it's just so many of them that I get. And I'm hoping that those people are listening to this video. If you don't like the products that I'm using, just stop right there. Click off of my video. Don't even go any further and move on to something else. Cause I don't need your negative energy on my channel. So now we're moving on to the third thing, which is the second personal thing to me that happened with me that I'm going to address. And this is with the hair maintenance. Ooh. Oh, I know it, it, it's, this is where it's about to go down. Lux will need maintenance at some point or another. And maintenance comes in different ways, different tools. Okay. If someone is insta locking their hair to start their Lux journey, what does that have to do with you? If someone is Insta locking their new growth to bring the part that is locked closer to the roots. What does that have to do with you? If someone decides to comb out their locks or comb out the, the, the tips of their hair, what does that have to do with you? The only time that can have something to do with you is if you are following someone on their locks journey and you're passionate about locks or you want to learn more about locks and that person decides to cut their locks off, you might also feel like you need to cut off your support from that person not watching their videos anymore. And that's reasonable and that's understandable. If you don't support what someone is doing or if you don't need info or entertainment or for whatever reason you're following this person, if you feel like it's gone completely, then yeah, you're free to do whatever you want. You're still free to do what you want, even if you support the person as well. You understand that? It doesn't take a nasty comment to tell this person off or to put them down like that. Why? For what? So for me, I do maintenance. I support maintenance on locks because I've seen what it's done. I've done it personally to my own locks and I've done it to other locks. And there's a beauty that comes out of that because you are grooming it. But let's specifically focus 
on removing lint or removing buildup from the hair, from the locks. Because you know, we're using cheap products, so there will be buildup, skyscrapers, mountains of buildup, okay? As a human being, I have free will to take those buildup out if I want to. And guess what? I want to. Because I don't like how it looks when you see all that buildup wrapped around your hair. Like, but that's me. That's my preference. Now, let's say if it wasn't my preference, I'm not going to watch because I do watch lock videos. I'm not going to go to someone's page and see them doing that. And I'm going to just tell them off. Oh, you're disgusting for doing that. I literally had to delete a message on my channel telling me I'm disgusting for removing lint and buildup out of the locks. If you don't like it, I don't know how many times I have to say this. If you don't like it, leave. Like plenty of people that left you throughout your life, turn around and return the favor to my YouTube channel and leave. Because no human being with peace, love, and joy is going to take moment out of their wonderful day in life to go and watch people's videos who are talking about hair, taking lint out, their products to tell them how disgusting they are. So let's move on. Extensions. I've never ever put extensions in my hair and I've never worn a wig over my locks. Why? Because this, if you watch my early videos of my locks journey, my locks journey is a spiritual one for me. It is also a psychological one as well because I don't want to feel the most beautiful when I'm wearing something that's not what I was born with. I wanted to embrace my natural beauty in a way that I have never done. So me wearing extensions would not make sense. It would completely go against what I was trying to do spiritually and psychologically. I'm calm. I'm calm. I promise. So let's move on to number five, lock styling. I love to see styled locks. Admire it. But for me personally, I currently do not style my locks. Within 13 months, I've maybe only styled my hair three times. And when I say style, I'm not talking about doing it like what you see on the screen, just to like push my hair back. <laughs> I'm not interested in tension on my hair. I've never been that person. When I used to wear fake hair, whether it was weaves years, so many years ago, or even just to, to wear a wig, because you know when you put the clips under the wig, how it can hurt your hair and even pull your hair off from the root and all that stuff. When I made that conscious decision to lock my hair, that was me saying goodbye to all of that because this is my hair. I'm not going to be uncomfortable, have my hair pulled so tight from the roots. Uh, I'm just not interested. I don't mind doing, a, a, you know, putting it when it grows, right? I don't mind putting it up or something like that, but I'm not going to go in with the styling. It's going to be very simple. So we're on to the next palm roll. I know you guys have seen this and familiar with how locks are palm rolled. I don't do that to my hair because there is no need for it. I more so focus on the roots of my hair. I don't spin my hair with my palms from the bottom. I don't palm roll. I stay to my roots because my roots are a little bit fuzzy or a lot fuzzy, whichever has always been that way. So for me to palm roll my hair, that's not going to benefit me because then my roots are not going to be clean. So now let's talk about the things that I do to my hair. I'm going to start off with the most important thing that I do to my hair and that is daily moisture. So I moisturize my hair every day. It's a daily moisture so it's light. It's not like what you do after having a full wash, you know. So with that being said, I have this bottle right here. I got that from Amazon. If you don't have this, if you don't have this product, you're missing out. So there's some oil and water 
it's a tiny bit of oil in there and that's what I do. I spray my hair with that every day, multiple times a day. Cause like I said, it's a light moisture. I also use it to stretch my hair. Let's say, you know, when you lay down on your locks or you wake up in the morning, your locks are kind of like folded up in a sense, folded within itself. So when you spray your hair, it brings your hair back to life. The weight of the water is going to make your hair look longer than it is or show your true length, your true locks length. So that's a must. This second thing that I do is going to be short and sweet because it was partially talked about earlier. These locks get clarifying shampoo in it and I love it. So whoever came up with a clarifying shampoo, thank you. Moving on to another thing that I do, okay? Once again, short and sweet because it was partially spoken of earlier in this video. I know how to maintain locks, right? So I know what I'm doing when I'm attempting to remove lint from locks. Now, should someone trust anyone to remove lint from their locks? Maybe not, maybe not. But how much damage do you really think you're going to do? What well, you are literally just removing only what's wrapped around your locks. All you're doing is gently removing what's around the locks. There are levels to everything. If someone is going through the locks and ripping your hair out as they go rip, every time they go in, they're just ripping and tearing up your hair and tearing it up and just keep digging and tearing it up. Of course, that would be crazy. Moving on, hair coloring. You guys see that I have some color in my hair and I'm sure you guys have also seen other people with locks who has colored their hair. Remember, we're speaking on things that I do, right? So this one here is a choice. I do want you guys to remember that the thicker your locks are, the stronger they are than when you were loose natural. One strand of loose natural hair is not stronger than one lock. Moving on to another thing that I love to do, and that is retwist in my hair often. Often it's subjective. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. I retwist my hair whenever I want. Oh, you want numbers. Okay. So seven days. I've went as early as seven days from my last retwist. And I don't do it just because I do it because it's needed. If I have a hot date and I retwisted and I retwisted my hair seven days ago. The seventh day that's upcoming, you think I'm going to show up with my hair looking fuzzy? No, I'm going to do a dry retwist. That's a retwist without washing your hair. Remember, I don't live in a scarf. And before all of that, my hair is fuzzy in the roots. God bless you if you don't have fuzzy hair. If I had fuzzy hair, then I would need to retwist my hair that often. And I do understand that if I live in a scarf, my retwist might last longer, but I shall not. I shall not live in a scarf. So I'm going to do six for six. So the last thing that I do to my hair is interlock. It's a part of my lock maintenance. It makes sense and it does what I need it to do. Whenever my hair grows too far from the root and I have a lot of loose natural, I interlock it back closer to the roots so that there's no huge long gaps between my lock and my loose natural hair. There you have it. So you know what I do and what I don't do. And I'm not saying what I do is right. And I'm not saying what I don't do is wrong. I know this video or audio, whatever you want to call it. I understand the direction on what can happen and the domino effect that can happen from this video, right? But at the end of the day, I want to be supported by good people and I want to support good people. If you support my channel, this is my personal thank you. Thank you so much. All others, y'all could go kick rocks. Peace.